go back to Al Gore's a Kilimanjaro inconvenient truth. Was supposed to it would, yeah. no snow by two thousand six or something. All like bullshit. That. All wrong. No one guesses it right. But that aside, the problem is you're putting in new control. You're putting in a new ma- mandate, a new narrative. This narrative is you have to do this because if we don't, we're gonna we're all gonna die. Okay, so everybody has to get on board, and our patience is wearing thin, and everybody has to get on board. Why are you driving an internal combustion engine? Why are you still... Okay, but also people are making money in this conversion. You have to understand there's businesses that are set up that are being positively affected by this conversion. They're going to make a fuckload of money, and those are the ones that are going to influence people to pass legislation that mandates things and make sure that we have only electric cars by 2035. But right? how are we going to propel those electric cars? Well, how's the, how about what's, where are you getting all the fucking conflict minerals? The craziest thing about electric cars and electric everything well, it's all is the, cobalt mining. And lithium, it's all in China. It's not just in China, it's in the Congo, and they're using yeah. slaves to pull it out of well, the ground. Well, where you start digging into the Congo, you start getting into some pretty precious resources there in Virunga and that mm-hmm. area. I mean, that yeah. is a World Heritage site. It creates like an absurd amount of our oxygen. I mean, it's an it's a it's an extremely important region um, that is unfortunately extremely mineral rich. Yeah. And the story of where how they get the minerals out. This a uh, guy Siddharth Kara came on the podcast and he uh, was a journalist that was got embedded in these cobalt mines. And got this footage, this fucking insane footage of slave labor, essentially. So people have dirt floors. They have no money. They have no food. They have no options. They're they're carrying their babies on their back while they're mining cobalt. So they're getting all this <laughs> cobalt dust everywhere. They, so they're all getting poisoned. They're all of a host of fucking diseases that are coming about from this toxic fumes of this shit they're chipping out of the ground. And yeah. that's what powers all of our electric devices. That's a part of it. But the other big problem that that no one wants to talk about, and and I think that the debate needs to be approached from the standpoint of we've got one side that says go be proof that the world's going to end. I don't need to show you proof. I said it. Right. Do this bullshit. Um, okay, let's just say that we took a corner of Utah and we just solar paneled that fucker and we made enough <laughs> electricity for the entire nation. Guess what? We can't do get it anywhere. Because the grid, we do not have the pipeline of the grid. California's maxed out. They can't bring it anymore. They've got to run. A, they've got to run pipeline. They got to run wires. They're maxed out. They can't get enough power to the cities as it is. They're doing fucking rolling blackouts. They're telling people to not charge their electric vehicles in the summer. They said that like two weeks after they made the mandate for twenty thirty five. Yeah. So maybe figure out how you're going to get the electricity to the cities. Yeah. And I'm a big supporter of fuck, especially there. Throw solar panels on top of everything. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? It's yeah. free power. Yeah, do yeah. it. It's free power, and it does work. You it definitely, does work. You can power your house with solar if you 100%. have a big enough yard and you have sun out, especially in L.A. where it's sunny all the time. Yeah, it's inexcusable to not do it. Every new house should have them. Yeah, but the problem is it's just, boy, you're dealing with so many people. That's the problem. Like, like if you wanted to come into California right now and you wanted to manage it correctly and you wanted to fix all the wrongs and you wanted to clean up the streets and stop all the crime, like, you couldn't even do it. You couldn't even do it. There's, there's too many people that are against you. There's too many people that no matter how badly they fail doing it in a certain direction, they're going to keep going in that direction. They're going to double down. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to try, you know, and... And now there's so many people leaving California. They're trying to come up with this new tax where if you leave California for the next 10 years, yeah. you still have to somehow pay. Isn't that nuts? It's just, it's nonsense. You it's can't, nonsense. You can't do it. No, you it's can't It's not do legal. It. But also, you fucking criminals. Like, you suck, and you know you suck. So when people are leaving, you're like, well, we still want money. <laughs> no, we're leaving because you suck. Like, that's what states are about. You get to move to a new state, and this state's got different laws. I yeah. like this one better. Bye. Yeah. That's it. We're not. We don't have an agreement where I'm, we're not paying alimony. I wasn't married to you, bitch. Like, yeah. we, I gotta go. Yeah. See you later. Gotta go. See you. Bye. Yeah. 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 I, Figure it out. I, I get a, the random California letter. Like, are you sure you don't owe us any money? The like, ah, guy haven't lived there in ten fucking years. I haven't been trying. there in five. They, I mean, when you have a thirty-four or thirty-two billion dollar hey, deficit, you, you cast it out there, yeah, see if you can catch it. You gotta fucking send dudes out. Like, let's go. But now they're talking about, incre- you know, 
here's here's one of the things that I've always found interesting because everyone knows this and no one says it when they talk about the top one percent of the one percent that mm. they don't pay uh, income tax. You know, the the, the average the guy that makes eighty thousand, a hundred thousand years is paying higher percentage than those guys. Well, yes, um, because you know what billionaires don't get? They don't get a paycheck. They don't get a W two. All those leaders of the all the head of this bank or that bank, they're getting a dollar. That's their salary. And they're getting stocks. And until they sell the stock, we don't know what the stock's worth. Everyone talks about Elon Musk is worth 140, however many billions. No, he's not. If he's tried to sell all his stock today and get that, he would collapse all his companies. Collapse them. You can't do it. Same with Bezos, same with any of those guys. So it's paper wealth. Are they extremely wealthy? Sure. Where do they get their money from? Well, they sell a million shares here. They sell a million there. Maybe they take a line of credit out off of their shares. I don't know. But yeah. they don't get a paycheck. Right. Exactly. And you can't tax an unrealized gain because we don't know what it's worth. It's a, did they find a loophole? Of course they did. They're billionaires. Yeah, they're smart guys. They're not paying their share. But if you look at the show, like, that's a, the narrative in New York City. But have you ever seen the New York City um, tax breakdown? Like what, how much of the tax is paid by wealthy people? Oh, I'm sure it's 60%, 65%. It's an enormous percent of a small percentage of the population is paying an enormous percent of the taxes. Well, and it's still it, chaos. Let's just say Jeff Bezos is worth, let's just say he's worth $100 billion. And if he gets his effective tax rate down to 10%, he's paying $10 billion. <laughs> so how many people making $100,000... And on the same thing, now, now you, they're paying 10000 on their 100000 I'm no mathematician, but how many? 10000 times what equals $10,000,000,000? 10, Isn't it 10000 times a million? Something like that, yeah. Or a hundred million. What is that, Jay? It'd be 10,000 times, it'd be 10, 10, times 10 a million? 10 and 100 millions would yeah. be a billion. Just okay. 10, 10 times a hundred million. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of money, kids. So it takes a hundred million people to make the same amount of taxes. Yeah, and also if their stock drops, like if they they pay that much in stock and then the stock drops the next year, like what are you going to do then? And now now they have to pay less, but now they have even less. Yeah, but they can't they can't even sell it all. He couldn't sell. Bezos could not sell right twenty percent of his of his holdings without dramatically negatively affecting the stock price. Right. So if he sold the I don't know what it what it's trading at, but let's say it's trading at, let's keep it round numbers, $100, okay? If he sold his first million shares at 100, he's selling his next at 90, he's selling his next at 80, and then there's a, then it's on fucking MSNBC, and now it's worth 